Could be live. This is a little bit awkward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we're I think we're live. Um, as you can see, everything's kind of messed up. Uh, yeah, my uh, streaming computer just died for some for like no reason. So that was surprising. So yeah, I had to completely. After trying to debug that for about an hour, I had to completely uh, set up a brand new stream. I tried doing it in NVIDIA Experience, but NVIDIA Experience is terrible. Uh, my webcam kept on breaking. I couldn't set my microphone. Um, and yeah, just like it was just really not cut out for streaming. So I just r literally recreated a really quick uh, layout. Luckily, Streamlabs OBS pulls my, um, my fancy thing. So hopefully I got all this set up. <laughs> you know just about what two hours late is that all two hours late yes yeah, oh three hours late shit yeah all right well let's see how's it going should i do a bratis prius or datalon he's kind of the uh buff warrior type uh prius is the sort of uh, i think spell sword or, or no it's actually like a, a cleric right and datalon is the mage Probably won't play you too long, but yeah, I just wanted to defeat whatever was going on here. I'm going to have to completely relook at my streaming machine. I might have to scrap it if it's just dying. Yeah, it was bouncing between 60 frames and like 14 frames and like 2 frames. So I could probably, if I, given the time, I could recreate everything on this main system. I just like the the stability of having a uh, machine dedicated to streaming. That would just pull my uh, my video from one computer to the next but it seems like that's that's over with seems like price is the uh, way to go I'm gonna do incompetent because I was getting my ass kicked last time <laughs> skill levels for people are notoriously bad at this game yes okay so as you can see there's like got a sword and a shield there's damn see these are the birds I'm not I wasn't joking about the birds Hopefully the stream isn't too bad. I didn't actually check the settings. How's that stream quality? Ooh, that looks really rough. Is there any way I can bump that up? Uh, crap. No. It says 19. Oh, it's 30 frames. Uh, I streamed at 30 frames. <laughs> That's lame. Okay. Yeah, you're getting a really bad version of... Oh, I'm almost dead already. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're getting a really horrible, horrible version of this. Whatever. Yeah, this is a redo. This is <laughs> a complete bust. I had to reset all my settings and I didn't check the frames. I assumed it was at 60. I always I always even record at 60. All right. Well, I don't know what all these birds are doing here. Um, I wish I knew the controls. Their controls. Oh, interesting. Everything has a health bar. So I can even break the trees. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's supposed to be 60 frames and all this stuff. Whatever. It's retro. Yeah, even the original game is retro stream. Well, I can kick. That's an improvement. Is there even a way to open this door? Oh. <laughs> I threw a, a toxic grenade. That's nice. If I could get open that door, maybe I have to open that. Oh, right. I have to open the door some other way, I think. I haven't played Texan for a while. Kicking trees. Kicking spiders. Yeah, I should be able to open the door normally. I thought that would be the case, but... Is there a particular... Uh, button I should press? Oh, got a crafting menu. Uh, let me look at the controls real quick. 
Uh, use open space. Um, maybe not. Oh, exit. There we go. Oh, just space. Okay. Why is level blinking? Oh, it means I can probably level up, I think. I think. <laughs> There's new controls for uh, this. Okay, so a special RPG menu. Okay. There we go. Maybe maximum health. Okay, so yeah, I got some points. Uh, physical strength. Sure, why not? So it doesn't even look like I'm level 2 yet, but it looks like I even get points anyway. Okay. I'm getting little flasks here. Uh-oh. Yeah, I remember that trap. Yes, yeah, it look a lot more interesting if it wasn't like super, super crappy low-res uh, terribleness. It actually looks pretty good on my end, but... Um, looks like it's kind of run through the uh run through an ugly stick there on the other end so i'll have to look at that yeah i'm actually running at 4k right now at like 120 frames but i'm only getting like a terrible sub sub it, uh 1080p 30 on the stream which is obviously what you guys want to see so Opens up those. Is there anything in there? Not really. I thought there was a hidden switch behind one of these uh, paintings. Yeah. Hi. Hidden doorway. Uh, I don't know if that'll pop up really in my chat, but thanks, Anna Livingston, for the donation. Oh. Oh. Got to stay out of that gas. It's pretty effective, though. I do like the kick button. All right. Gotta grab some healths. Okay, so there wasn't there a... Oh, crap, not one of those again. I thought there was a, uh, a menu. Was that enter? Yeah, so empty vial. Crafting menu. Are there any recipes? Leather piece, mesh armor, falcon shield. I don't have enough of this stuff at all. So I have a bunch of random uh, crafting material, but nothing really to craft. What's going on, fella? What's going on, big guy? I like how it kind of, like, goes into a wounded state. I don't think that was in the vanilla game. I think that's a, an invention of Brutal brutal Hexen. Oh, boy. I can't bring myself to look at that choppy frame rate on the stream. <laughs> this is pretty dark. Maybe for the stream I might lighten it up here a little bit. It is looking pretty, pretty dark here. How's that? A little bit better for you guys? Not really, to be honest, but whatever. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, of course. Closing trap, trap doors and all that kind of fun stuff. Ooh, slid, slid right through there. Any points to master? No, I don't have any points to master. Yeah, the quality's terrible, but whatever. I didn't check the frame rate. Must have defaulted at 30. Oh, 
don't think there's any other hidden stuff behind these uh, walls here. So now that I have the green key, I think I can go out to like another another house or tower or something. I'm vaguely remembering this. This door. So that's on a real tree. Some of these trees have health bars. Some of them don't. I don't know what makes a tree a real tree or not, but I'm assuming there's a very good reason. Lighting effects are nice. If you see it in, in live action, it would look even better. The door is locked. Ah, here we go. I don't know if you can tell, but um, you can actually like do a charge-up attack with uh, Brutal Hex, and it's kind of neat. It's kind of a nice little detail. Yeah, the grayish ones looks like... Yeah, I, I was getting health bar with the grayish ones. I could destroy those. Damn. Oh, crap. Spider. Spider. Get away from me, bird. <laughs> All right. I really need to figure out how to use these items. I, I could have swore I had some um, empty vials. But I don't I have some... Oh, this is a... Okay, where's my inventory? I guess that's my question. Let's move right. I don't know if that... Okay, so... I've got a familiar. I could summon a familiar. Throw a flechette. RPG menu. Um, Quartz flask-esque. Okay. At least I can heal myself a little bit. What was my... Uh, summon familiar button? I should write these down. R. Okay. So next, th next time... Uh, Get in a big fight, I should summon a familiar. That could be fun. Alright. Yeah, these are evergreen trees. They've got a lot of health. Hmm. I saw someone burning these earlier, so maybe it's like a thing you can only burn. I need the silver key. I am hitting a tree with a mace. Get for me, cave spider. All right. All right. Um. Did I miss it? Did I miss a key somewhere? I pulled this l lever. What did that open though? Did that opened something I. There's a cave somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, over here. Okay. Yeah, just past this cave, I should be able to get the silver key. And there's freaking spiders over. Where Back, spiders! <laughs> Now I should be able to open the door. Perfection. All right. And then, boom. And for whatever reason, that opens up the next area. I wish I remembered what that is, but I'm sure I'll stumble upon it somewhere. Yeah, all I have is this mace. I'm assuming I'll get... Oh. Assuming I'll get something else soon. Oh. Oh, I need red, 100 red mana to summon a golem. That ain't happening anytime soon. Okay. 
That ain't even fair. The guys are flying and shooting fires and balls at me. Not cool at all. Very bad, sir. I'm not going to hit him with that. All right. Into the... Oh, there we go. So I should be able to just hop in. Nice. Before I go in there... Oh, that's just why I want to go back out. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go back out. <laughs> Greetings, mortal. Are you ready to die? Not ready, but I'm going to see how that happens. I love the kind of deep blue water in the in the Doom games. Die, bird. A little bit of blue mana. So once I get up to 100 red mana, I should be able to summon a familiar. I don't know how effective they're going to be, but could be fun. Oh, man, there's some red mon in there. I want that. Uh, let's get it piece by piece here. Okay. What's this all about? Oh, yeah, there we go. Finally got some green. But that's going to probably cost mana each shot, right? That's my best guess. Yeah. I either have to uh, just wait for the guys to come down to ground level or just hope for the best. Oh, here we go. So 60 red mana. I'm looking forward to seeing what my familiar's like. It's supposed to be a golem. Come on now. Oh, big guy. Maybe I will throw a couple... Almost level four? Oh crap. I can't even use that weapon until level four. This is terrible. I'd be down for some brutal heretic or brutal strife. I like those games. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, well actually my mace did pretty short work of him. There's gotta be a button here somewhere that uh elevates me up there. Yeah, I just can't even use it. They they give it a level requirement. I'm too I'm too low level to even use it yet. Oh god, this area. I always got stuck in this area. There's some sort of puzzle thing that isn't very obvious. All right. Now, is there a jump of sorts? I don't remember there being a jump. Uh, that's not a very good jump. Might as well, is there a use? Yeah. There we go. I think that's an invention of Brutal Doom. I don't think there was a jump in the original. If there was, I don't remember it. Yes, the standard bunny for jump. It makes more sense, I guess, if you're using the the uh, uh, letter key or the, the arrow keys, but I haven't used the arrow keys for a shooter since, like, probably 2000 or something. All right, we got elbows. Nice. All right, beam me up, Scotty. Okay. That was a nasty little ambush. Might be getting close to level two. 
Oh, Dvorak keyboards, yeah. How about them apples? I'm about level two now. Just two more levels past that before I can use the weapon I've had for a long time now. Yeah, most people don't remember that there was actually several different uh, keyboard layouts before people mostly settled on QWERTY. In fact, a lot of early uh, DOS games asked you which keyboard layout you had so that they could match it. I'm really close to getting my familiar. I should wait until I get into a nice big battle first, though. What is this about? This is the area that I, not this particular area, but around this area, I tend to get pretty stuck. This is a teleport, right? Yeah. That's just back to where I was. Has that unlocked anything else here? Oh, poor little Etten. In this version, yeah. I mean, obviously in the base game, you, as soon as you picked up the weapon, you could use it. But apparently in this one, you actually have to be a certain level to be able to use weapons, <laughs> which is all sorts of cruel. Definitely kind of taking the RPG route, right? I heard that somebody made a custom map in this game, which is kind of like a city. That'd probably work really well with this, having a city with townspeople or whatever. Oh. Oh, that little, that little bastard. I'm now level two. Oh. Don't all, all you guys welcome me at once. Okay, so I should be able to do, uh, okay, maybe, probably health. Yeah. Not a ton of upgrades, but something. Baby steps, I guess. Yeah, it's so weird. I, I actually noticed that Her um, Gog doesn't have Heretic or um, Hexen on it either. From what I noticed. Which is pretty weird to me. I'd like to play Heretic 2 again, although I fear it probably doesn't hold up as well. I personally don't think that the Quake... A lot of Quake 1, Quake 2 engine games hold up particularly well. Like, this just kind of seems a bit more polished to me than, than Hexen 2. And all that's going to ruffle a lot of feathers. I just, the early, the early kind of 3D always looks worse than later 2D sprites to me for some reason. Uh oh. Oh, well, that could have been bad. I have that bound at E. That's not a really good idea. Hey, those are chaos serpents, aren't they? Kind of a kind of a um, breaks the lore a little bit, considering uh, that Disparal and in Heretic is like a serpent rider. That's his, and he's like some badass dude. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was not a good good on my part. I forgot about that. And these are now like level two enemies. Oh god, this is gonna go bad. All right. Okay, if there's gonna be a time, I can't summon a familiar here. Crap, I'm um, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, I died. Uh, 
I don't think there was uh, jumping in the original. Okay, he's going to win. The, the Afrit or the Etten? Uh, my money's on the Afrit. I think the Et Etten's getting an edge, though. He's placing bets. They're really taking their time, though. Can they kill each other, though? That's the question. Maybe in this mode they can't. Oh, no, he's taking damage. Oh, Afrit's... Afrit? Oh, no, Afrit went. Okay. I mean, it's kind of unfair, a flying, uh, flying range creature, but... Yeah, no, it, do, it does seem uh, super nerfed. So there was an autosave. Is this right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's just a that's just a jerk move. Kick that! Oh, I died again. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, kicking is not the winning uh, winning maneuver here. I really want a familiar. I got got somebody. Just can't go into that poison cloud unless I take damage myself. going bit by bit here just because I don't want to get overwhelmed. What's up, Etten? amount of blue mana. I have no idea what to use of the blue mana. Fire key. Where would that where would such a thing be? Yeah, this is like the Dark Souls of classic shooters. No! Do I have to run all the way back now? I could take this way. Oof. That's just mean. Oh, that's just mean. Okay, that was that door, right? Am I even supposed to do anything with that now? Fire key. I'm assuming the fire key is like right here. But I have to trigger it somehow. Oh, here we go. One third of the puzzle has been solved. Of the seven portals. Oh, okay. Let me daintily walk over there then. And hoppity, hippity hoppity, and there goes my property. <laughs> I should have done a little running jump. Oh man, do this whole area over again. I should really learn to save. Oh, that was not a good idea. <laughs> Minus 999. Talk about fall damage. So they're effective, but they definitely leave behind a lot of residue. Quite a while. Oh. 
Oh crap, I just dropped one. Whew. Okay. I, I should unbind that from E. I keep on using E as my use button. Oof, that hurts. That hurts. Finish him. That's so horrible that they beg for beg for death. All right. Um. So if I go here, um, I should be able to pull the doorknob here. No, I have to go through first. Sorry. Right, go this way. I'm going to save here. All right. And if I go through here and pull this switch. Now that area is clear. And there's a bunch of guys trying to shoot at me. Oh, that's just mean. Okay. Good thing I saved. So I want to clear those uh, little flyers out of there before I try to get in there. This is on a slightly easier difficulty, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know. I wonder why. I guess it just did maybe like just an absolute just ton of damage, and ma and minus nine ninety nine is the uh, is the lowest the meter can go. That's my guess. That's good. That's bad. Oh, God. <laughs> That's terrible. Come on. Yeah, Raven Software weren't kidding around with this game. Obviously, the RPG version has got its own quirks. I'd say it's probably a bit harder, too. Yeah, that's a good question. Why would you have a counter go to minus? Uh-oh. Well. God, that's like, if you don't get the right momentum, you just fall flat. I don't even know if that's really needed, but hoping it is. That was not the re the fire key, right? No. no that doesn't look good. So I guess I have to teleport back. That probably opened something else. Yep. Ow. Okay. It's back here. Grab some of these random vials that are left over. Yeah. One would think that there's an, some reason behind the negative uh, HP, but I don't really have any any proof that there is. So I need the skull thing. I've already flipped this switch. I've already been here, right? So I figured out one third of the puzzle, whatever that means. It's a way to get up here, right? Well, nothing here. Nothing here. What about over here? Probably not. So this is when it starts to kind of... Oh, I haven't pulled this one yet. Hey, Serpent Bro. 
I wonder when I can uh, when I can actually summon my uh, familiar. I have the mana now. I don't know. That must be the spell I currently have, maybe. Or lack of spell. I'm guessing there's some sort of spell. It's a good question, though. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I'm getting cornered here. These guys actually weren't that tough, considering I've got the mace, but... It's scary though. That's some creative creative lighting in this game. Yeah, despite despite everything else, this mace actually does tear thing pretty much anything up in fairly short order. Was it a temporary? I was hoping that uh, door closing would actually hurt him, but it doesn't seem like it does. All the giblets. Any points yet? No. I can't. I don't have any crafting yet, do I? No. Not quite. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's spells. I'm, let me look at the special action, throw a flechette, toggle RPG menu, summon familiar, gather water, uh, crater of my all of other stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just the item I've equipped. Oh yeah, it's just the item I've equipped. Okay. Oh, that's all it is, yeah. How do I even use that item? Uh, activate all items, backspace. Okay. So now that's overriding. Okay, so I should rebind this because that, now that's overriding my other thing. Um, slash maybe? Sure. All right, there's something, something in here. That's gonna open these doors. Oh, hey, Cast Serpent. That's just a pit, too. Uh, F that noise. Come on. Oh, man, that hurts me actually quite a lot. So, those sound effects are great. Oh, right. I think this is a timed thing. I think I have to do this. And then... 
something like that. But I forget. I thought there was some sort of timed aspect to that. I don't know if I did it. That's kind of like the Ettons. They always seem kind of cute to me for some reason. Oh, except when they throw fireballs. Well, you can just enjoy your little uh, puddle of death down there. Oh, okay. Don't seem to see many doors here. There's just one that's a pit, right? What is this then? Oh, it's an elevator. Oh, jeez. No fun. Yeah. No fun being in a cage with those guys coming after me. Yeah, pretty much just tossing bottles of syphilis to these guys. Their one weakness. Need the steel key. That's where it just came from. Is that the guy that's attacking me? No, it must be not from the other side. Probably over here then. Is there a little uh, walkway down there? No, there isn't. Is there? Oh, yes, there is. Yeah, this guy. Come here, Etten. Ooh, I really want to get down there, though. Some nice uh, healing items and whatnot. I should probably save those so I don't have to be this whole area. Cool, cool. So, what have I got here? Uh, so, some of these probably use uh, different manas. Hey, Pizza. Yeah, sorry for starting so late. I was unprecedented. Um, I'll figure out a better time so I can actually stream on time next time. Thanks for hanging out, man. All right. And don't let the update, <laughs> Windows update bite you. Yeah, I don't even know if it was Windows update. I, uh, I think it might just be either XSplit bugging out, Windows update bugging out XSplit, or just my computer is slowly dying. I, I don't have a final Final say on that. I really want to get in there. Let's get in there. That's the elevator. I can't get in this side. So how in the hell do you get over there? I really want to. I remember uh, Hexen definitely having more of a, a strong puzzle element than uh, Doom or even Heretic. Heretic was definitely more more elaborate uh, level design, from what I recall. Weird that armor's 3D. So, did I have the right idea with that? Oops. Hey, Etten. Just spawned out of nowhere. I think I might have just been a, l a hair too late. I don't... I 
I can't tell if that's opening up anything. I hear noises, but... Check again, I guess. Unless, unless that opens up something else. Doesn't seem to have opened up anything else. actually hurt me. Even the doors hurt you in this game. Oh, yeah, it did. Nice. I figured something out. So am I done? I'm done with this place. Hope so. So max on blue mana. I don't even know what blue mana does. Ooh, a different flask. So squishy. Is there anything going on over here? Not really. So, what's my... I can't summon familiar here. Where can I summon familiar? There's all my other abilities. So, what's this ability do? Uh, nothing. Oh, so that's the crafting menu. Okay. Um. So that's the crafting menu. What is this then? Convert mana, heal self. Heal self. How's that? Amount. Uh, sure. Okay. What? Which mana did that use? Maybe green? I don't know. So many little hidden mechanics. Obviously, I, I think what happened with this with this mod is that one guy was working on it for a while, then kind of dropped it, and then now somebody else picked it up. But yeah, obviously a lot of mechanics have been implemented without a whole lot of whole ton of thought uh, put into it, really. Not not to be uh, you know denigrating, but just like. Obviously, UI, UX could be improved, but definitely cool what they're doing with this, though. I think with some really some custom levels, this could be really something, actually. Ah, level three, nice. You hear that? Can't even see anything because I'm so level three now. Yes, I got level three. Thank you. Thank you. you can go away now. Good. Uh, probably health. Although, having more everything would be good. Oh, gather water? Oh. You mean water down there? Would that water down there work? Or that's ice. Never mind. So, where was some water? I know there's some water somewhere. Oh, outside, maybe. Is there water out here? Water in there. Uh, good question. I thought there were... I thought I had some water. Oh, here it is. G. Empty flask. Oh. So I can refill my flasks? Is that is that the idea? So I have eight flasks. Do I have any empty flasks? That's a good question, I guess. I 
I don't even know if I have anything, to be honest. Okay, I'm getting there. I have a couple of the requirements. I almost have enough for the Amulet of Warding. I can't quite craft anything yet, though. Where did he come from? Oh, this area. I think this area is new. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. I just like to some of my uh some of my familiar. Be nice. Where can I summon my familiar? I guess that's the question. Whoa, Wendigo. No Wendigo for Indigo. Oh, it doesn't say their names up there. Actually that's kind of a problem. Let me see if I can uh move my Oopsie. Uh Gonna help you out and move my uh, camera over here, maybe. So you actually see all that. So there's a lot of stuff up in the corner you guys aren't seeing. Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Still can't use my staff. But I've got some flasks. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Ouch. Remember to stay away from the poison clouds. Drop. So I wonder... Okay, there's that spell book. Let's see how the spell book works. Heal self. Uh, it goes up quite a bit, okay. Um, so what mana does that use? I think it uses using green, but I could be wrong. Oh, those are those are traps, okay. I forgot about that. Not so good. Oh, yep, those are death traps. So where was my last save? No, come on. Where was my last save? Don't do me dirty like this. Uh, 28, 23, 16, 24. Okay, that's my last save. I think. Hope so. Cause so I got 150, 223, 45. Let me try that uh, spell book again. So I think it was right, yeah. That's interesting. Come on now. What's your deal, bird? Killing a couple of these serpents, hopefully. Nice. Physical skill, probably health. Yeah, probably. Got a little bit of snippet of health there. Still got me with the fireball. Etten. Here. Guys aren't flowing around. Is that another Etten over here? Yeah. <laughs> I 
Yeah, the color coding is all messed up. I would think uh, green would go for a green health, but yeah, you never know with these things. Color coding can go a long way. It's all dark again. Got these guys. I'm gonna go the other way then. Got quite a few flechettes. Screw you guys. I could probably craft more flechettes, but I probably need more uh, flechette. Uh... Okay, I should save here. I remember getting stuck a lot in the ice caverns, but hopefully I've gotten smarter since then. Oof. Those are trippity traps. All right. Forgot how kind of uh, open and and kind of uh, back and forth kind of hub world the uh, level design in Hexen was. A lot more so than previous games. Yeah, this is the area that kind of tripped me up. How do you like that syphilis, Mr. Etten? Mystic urn. Oh. Torch fuel. Oh god, almost died. Only okay, so next level I'll be able to use my second weapon. Won't that be great? Just a little more Etten. There you go. Why do they keep, they keep on spawning up there? Okay, when can I actually get my familiar? Cause oh god, that's a trap. This place is already just awful. Oh crap! Oh god. <laughs> Why do I, why does it bind to E? I keep on pressing E by, by just, uh, familiarity, but, oh well. Where does this go to? Oh, hello. Oh, that's just cruel. Uh-oh. That was a bad call. Okay. I threw a uh, flask at this guy. Oh, crap. I have to go all the way through again. Oh, well. As long as I don't go through a trap of some type. That was not as uh, clean as my last playthrough. Yeah, I should change the bitings. Uh, right now I have use, shoot that for E. I used it actually quite a lot. Maybe I'll do that right click and hopefully I remember. For now, I guess. And there we go. They're almost dead. Okay, once that's cleared, over here. Almost forgot about that trap. Is there anything else over here? What about this? 
Oh, more death death traps. That's just nice. Half these torches are lit, but the other half are not. I'm guessing I need to light more torches to be able to get in this area. Something like that. There we go. Ooh, two for one. Oh. Sneaking up on me somehow. Three for one. Right, maybe I'm going to use that healing spell again, since I'm, I don't really seem to have much use for mana, as it is. There we go. It's kind of neat. Oh, a little bit of green mana. Was there anything in here? Guess not. Oh, here we go. No, I've already pulled this lever. Weird. Alt fire? Oh, alt fire. <laughs> that could have been probably pretty useful. Um, <laughs> weapon slots. Another weapon zoom. Secondary fire. I didn't seem to... The left right click didn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, maybe G... G is gather water. Um, what could water be, I guess? Period. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's weird. I, I don't. I could have swore I was right clicking and it wasn't getting me the shield. Well, there you go. The more you know. Oh, right. It wasn't bound to right click. It was just right trigger. That's funny. Huh. Well, it was just a weird default bindings, I guess. Ow. Uh, how can I get down there? That's a good question, I guess. There's got to be a way without falling to my death. I could use up my blue mana. Oh, that's for my... No, oh, my... I think my staff uses green. It would make sense if you use green, but I honestly don't know. It seems like I should have been opening something, but honestly, it, I'm not. So... Here again. This is this is the part I get stuck in. It's just like the kind of little corridors, and you're like, you're missing something. But wait, are there two of these? All right, I'm clearly clearly missing something obvious here. Ow! There's nothing in here. Nothing in there. Gone up here before. Go up here again. Maybe I haven't in this level, actually. In this playthrough. No, I haven't in this playthrough. There you go. Oh, right. This is where I died last time. Been great to have a familiar up here, but... Plenty of flasks, but it's a trap. Seems like a trap. These levels are taking quite a quite a long time to get through. Wait, I've been here before, haven't I? That's pointing to that wall. Is there anything with that wall? Apparently so.
Oh. oh. Another trap. Okay. I need to learn how to save more. Um, 2341. 2338. So that's the latest. I think. I hope so. Seems like a pretty far way back. 2341, 2338. Nope, it is the latest one. Damn it. Yep, okay. This little puzzle over again. Oh, yeah, you're right. I could actually convert mana, couldn't I? Uh, I, I didn't really pay attention to that. Probably at a, at a uh, fee. I doubt you could convert one color mana to another color mana. Then why would you have three colors mana? I just want a better weapon than my little mace. I mean, the mace does get, get things done. It's just not all that... I mean, I still have some variety. I did this area, right? Oh, I didn't. Wow, that was a while ago. Okay. All right. <clears throat> hmm. So maybe I should convert that mana. Let me try that book then. Convert mana, um, blue mana to green mana or red mana? Green mana, maybe? Oh, no. It's actually... Wait. For reals? Okay, so 10 amount, 3 cost. Blue to green. Yeah, no, you actually get more back, I think. Try blue to red? Okay, so... Okay. No? How about green to blue? No, you actually... Wait, green mana to blue. So 20 blue from... Oh, no, it's 20 green. Okay. So the amount is how much you're spending to get that, I guess? I don't know. It's confusing. I think it might be backwards. I thought it was like infinite mana, but yeah. I don't know. It's weird. It's not clear, but I think it's actually reversed. All right, this is the tough part. Should probably save here. Okay. Yeah, it kind of looks like I'm dipping one, right? Oh, sneak attack. All right, guys. How about, how about you guys just chill? Well, that should, I should work on him. <laughs> A couple of the guys back there, I should probably grab their flasks. Yeah, it definitely does seem like I was duping mana, but I think it was actually just badly worded. I think I was actually getting three for like ten or whatever. But I'd look at it again. Either way, I have a lot more mana now, which makes me believe that I was duping mana. <laughs> I look at it. So I didn't have that much green before.
double right click. Oh, I do a little I do a little push forward. That's kind of cool. So like a little knockback. All right, I jump save here. Oh yeah, this is a pretty big, pretty significant knockback actually. All right, I'm gonna let's see what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna get more green mana. So blue to green. So I'm gonna do 26. If that brings blue mana down to 200, then that means it's it's reversed. Yeah, something like that. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. So that was a trap, wasn't it? Something here was a was a death trap. Ow. Bad Etten. Cracking ice. Really creative with the level design, considering they didn't really have much to work with with this engine. Oh, I walked into my own, my own flesh shit gas. Okay. Gotta be wiser. All right, not gonna go into those just yet. I'm making that mistake. Oh, I did the seal. And molten lava creatures come out of the walls. Isn't that the worst? Oh, there's a key. Oh, is that the fire key? It could quite possibly be the fire key. I'm gonna do this mana conversion thing because I keep on getting way too much blue mana. So blue to green. Sure, why not? Oh yeah, that is really cool. Yeah, they got really creative considering the engine is all pretty much like two dimensional. They definitely make things work pretty well. A little lighting stuff. Now, there was a death trap in here, I think, wasn't there? Someone in here. Yeah, I had been here. I thought so. So that's a teleport. This goes me brings me to the Wendigos. Still have some flush shots. Not walk into that. And this area gets all messed up. I couldn't ever forget how to open this thing. Okay. Okay, there's something that triggers that key, and that's the green key, so I'm guessing now that I have the fire key, I should go back to the fire place, wherever that was. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. It was actually much easier than I thought, except for everything's breaking. Oh god, that's actually death now. That's terrible. Who designed this game? All right, I'm out. Thank God. So all this time, I, I was stuck on that room. I swear, I was stuck on that room for like, I swear an hour or two the last time I played this. 
I just must have missed that one little hidden switch in the wall. Let's do some red mono. So blue to red mana. How about that? Since I'm always getting way too much blue mana. Alright, same here. Now the question is, where was the fire room? Yeah, you get to choose a class, just like the original. Um, you get to also choose a familiar, but I don't know if there's more than one familiar you can choose. I chose a golem, but I've not been able to cast my golem spell this entire time. So, question is, where is the red the fire room? Uh, not here. Ready, right in. Um, yeah, I chose the cleric class, um, but you can also choose the kind of wizardy guy or the um, the tanky brute, uh, the punchy tanky guy. Yeah, there's classes in the original Hexen as well, but. Um, this just adds all the kind of uh, progression, leveling, and stuff like that. Oh, it's here, I think. Okay, this takes me out. All right, that's good enough. And fire is somewhere else here. Is this opened up? No. Hey, Centaur, how's it going? I'll be getting to level four some point. I do have the fire. Where is the fireplace? No, it wouldn't be there. So many new areas opening up. Is it this one? Maybe? Perhaps? Yes. So I should have the fire key now, so I should be able to open this guy. Yeah, there we go. I'm throwing these flechettes. I should actually kind of uh, hold up on those a little bit. Yeah, lightning. I've not even been using my kick. I should probably use it. Seems all right, but lightning does seem a bit better. Oh, there we go. Actually, kick them onto their feet. Oh. So those tight quarters. To be fair, quite often they just throw guys on you, so range wouldn't be as useful as it sounds. Chaos device. I'm sure that's pleasant. Hmm. Where am I going from here? It's back where I was, I think. Where's the door? Is that the door? No. I got in here somehow. Oh, that's open. Okay. Random. Yeah, 
it's pretty cool. I, I, as I'm learning more about it, it's it's definitely growing on me. This mod, a lot of this is is vanilla um, hexing content, but it definitely is a very weird way of playing it. It's very interesting. So maybe here. Ah, there we go. Oh God. I really just <laughs> don't don't give you the the. the uh, Fair warning at all with this game, does it? Okay, what about over here? Nope, I've already been this way. Almost about to hit level four, then I can use my staff. Is everything good here? No. I don't have to go up the I don't have to go up the lava. Do I have to go up the lava? There we go. Ouch. That hurt. Any more? Uh, okay, I've actually got a few. But I can also use heals. Not too shabby. Uh, unclear as to how. Yeah. Um, before I started streaming, I, I explained the process. It's not too difficult, but nobody really puts together a really good tutorial. Um, and there's some very specific steps. Oh, okay. This speaking of steps. Hey. Dragon skin bracers. Yeah, from what I what I did is I downloaded uh, GZ Doom, which you can you can Google that. Um, I think I have a link. I have a link to the two files I downloaded um, in the description. But you're gonna need to do something that nobody tells you to do. You're gonna need to get the WAD files of Hexen. Um. Possibly Hexen expansion, but you definitely need the WAD file for Hexen. You need to download that and put it into uh, the folder, and then you're going to need to grab... I could do a tutorial at some point. It's just that, yeah, it's a few different steps. But yeah, you need to actually have the WAD file from, a, from an actual retail copy of Hexen. Oh, the torch? Yeah, I don't know if I have a torch yet. I don't seem to have a torch. Maybe it's something I can craft. Oh, I can almost make uh, almost make mesh armor. Oh, I can make the amount of warding. Should I, though? <clears throat> it's going to use almost all my, my stuff. Hey, I was trying to craft here, and Not nice at all. Yeah, I definitely have torch fuel. I just don't know <clears throat> where I get the torch. Oh, there's another step, steppy thing over there. Okay. Might as well use that. Yeah, I saw somebody using the torch. It's like a, uh, it's like a long-range weapon. A mid-range weapon. Potion of Excellence. Nice. On the Guardian of Ice. How do you get up there? I guess there's another path that opens up. There's probably other places here that are unlocking as I'm playing. Hmm. I think I've been there. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's a key bind. Um, cast device, course flask, blah, 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 gather water, throw a flechette, other chase cam, hop spy. Some of these are just going to be um, various um, 
not all of these are are native to Hexen even. This is just Jeez Jeezy Doom's thing. Does it actually a <laughs> chase game would be kind of funny. I wonder if that works. Uh maybe I'll put it in a home. Yeah, it does work. That's so funny. <laughs> Third person. 2D sprites, but still. Um, brutal hexing controls. No, I don't see torch anywhere here. I'm thinking it must be weapon. Gotta go for patrol. All right. Nice talking to you, man. I might be back, but I do have to end off at some point to go to bed because I just start really late. But hopefully I'll see you then. Something in the Guardian of Ice. And... I haven't pulled this one either. Kicking, kicking the serpents. I'm going to do <laughs> Dark Messiah up in here. Cruelty bonus. Oh, I got I get cruelty bonus. You get a cruelty bonus for killing killing uh begging for kicking begging uh <laughs> begging enemies. That's pretty that's pretty awesome. Wait. Oh no, I don't want to be back here. Take me back. I already pulled this one. So if you can get him down to low low HP, you can actually do the cruelty bonus thing. That's pretty cool. Right, heal self. Yep, you get extra health for doing the cruelty. And I'm level four, awesome. So maybe Arcane Mastery? Arranged accuracy. Monic capacity would actually be good. Sweet. I should save. Been waiting for this moment for so long. Sweet. So this guy. Okay, yeah. So this uses green. All right. Where are you guys? Oh, range attacks. Oh. Well, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does have range. And it has an altifier attack that I can unlock at level 6. So that's neat. I'm trying to figure out where I, where I went last. Is this the new area? It's just going to take me to fire again. Yes, it is. No. I need to get to the ice area. How did I get to the ice area? Or did I get to the ice area through fire? No, I don't think so. I have like no... Oh, wait, there's a map, isn't there? Oh. That's going to really help me. Not with that background, especially. Um, that area, I think that takes me all the way back, doesn't it? It looks pretty icy. Come hither. This is back to this tower thing. That's the ice place. I think. It is an ice place. I just don't know if it is the ice place. I don't know if it's the ice place they're talking about. Okay, 
Yeah, it's actually not that great. <laughs> to be honest, a little bit disappointed. out of here. Got some heals. Got some monos. Don't tell me that was it. That'd be hor horribly disappointing if that was it. I think it's got to be something that actually matters to the uh, uh, progression of the, of the game. I would hope. Okay. Oof. Do not fall down there. Guardian of Ice. I've already been here. Right? Yeah. Okay. The Guardian of Ice. So I'm a little bit lost now. Uh, maybe the main door? That one has been closed since the beginning. Nope, that one's still closed. Um, oh, I haven't pulled this one. Here we go. Just give you tons of blue mana. Just absolute garbage loads of, of blue mana. Wait, no. Not this place again. This isn't the same place, is it? Why is why do I have to go to this area again? area. Yeah, this is literally the same area I've done already. Okay, I'm not doing this area again. Yeah, it can't I can't have to do this area again, right? But why was that locked? I'm so confused now. Did I not save after doing that entire area? I meant to, uh, I should have kicked him. I'm starting to have, I think, existentially here. That looks like a fake. Yeah, it looks like a fake wall. Um. Like I said, this area really, really wears on your patience if you don't know what you're doing. What's this? This is the fire again. All right, did this fire area? Unless there's other ones on the other side. Oh, there is apparently. Different from the other one, though? Or does it just take me to the same place? It probably just takes me to the same place. Yeah. You know, does everybody just respawn? Definitely are respawning enemies. I just don't know how much is respawning. There's something up there, so I still have 
something here to do. I think that switches my my last. That switches my last uh, last thing to unlock. I could almost get there, almost, but not quite. Not with my speed. You know, I got here and I made a running jump. I could almost do it, but I'd hurt myself. No, no good at all. But yeah, I think that's my last, at least that's one of the last areas is this thing up here. Tattered banner. I can break tattered banners. That's good. Oh, man. Something about the Guardian of Ice, but I don't know what the heck they're talking about with the Guardian of Ice. To be perfectly honest. Don't hold your hand. This one talking about like something way back in the beginning, maybe. Uh, maybe I could go way back there. I, I don't know if that's going to be helpful at all. Oh, wait, that doesn't even have a uh, portal. Okay. Oh, that was a grenade. That's not what I wanted to do. I meant to do this. Empty full of shit. I don't know if I'm actually doing anything with this. I'm just guessing now. Which place is this? That's fire. It's fire. Okay. Not there. Not here. What about... I think that's back to the tower, isn't it? It's probably back to the tower. Okay, let me get on. Maybe something unlocked back there? This looks new. Yeah, that is new. I've got a, I've got a staff now, guys. Oh, God, I need to heal again. Alrighty. This is gonna be a trap, I know it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got to level four and unlocked this baby. And I'm just a little bit, a little bit further ahead in, in the thing. I've kind of, I think I unstuck myself. Fireballs and all that kind of stuff. Wait, how do I get in there? Oh, do I have to jump? I have to jump through the fire and flames. Hey, right, portal. And jump back. Oh, God. <laughs> and I fell down, of course. Uh, I think I saved just now. Yeah, I did. Okay. Alrighty. Get out of here. Even stopping some any of those. Oh, 
damage. All right, I'm gonna heal a little bit. These little flying guys, though. Okay, maybe I should um, convert some blue to green. There. Okay, more flechettes. I could always use more of those. Whatever that was. There's traps everywhere in this thing. Seems simple enough. One half of the puzzle has been solved. Of the seven portals. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Two flawless jumps and then a slapstick. side okay things things keep on moving i i get confused things keep on, keep on moving around in this place is there anything over here or is that the entire purpose of this dungeon could be the entire purpose actually that's a pretty cool door though is this anything no. Seems like I have to figure out something else to get out of here. Okay, what else do I have to figure out? Oh, there's an opening over there. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Hold your horses, guys. Oh, this way. Um. Just up, up out of here. Okay. All right, now to something else. This isn't up yet. Damn it. And I doubt the the main door over here is open. Nope. Okay. So what else did I miss? I've already done this area. Was there really two of these? That would really suck if there were two of these. I didn't really like that particular area. So if there's like two clone clone levels, that would kind of suck. There are. Christ. <laughs> That's why I thought I was going to the same area. Copy and paste. and <laughs> Just <ref> <laughs> flip it. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's disappointing, but I guess I know how to how it works. Hopefully. Yeah, I get the unlock at level uh, at level six. Oh, and I found out something awesome. Next time I can do it to an Etna, I'll show you. Uh, if you knock an Etna down and they're begging for their life, if you kick them. You get extra health back. It's pretty cool. Yeah, level locks. That's that's what everybody wants. No, this is the same place. What the hell? I already I already pulled these levers. Why is it? Why is this different? I mean, different side of the same level or something? like a different different part I'm so confused these places look so similar that is different you have to find another switch okay that's helpful
Yeah, Glory Kills are pretty cool. Okay, it's so not here. It's just a different side or a different version of the same area. That's weird. Maybe I have to do this thing then. Nope. Okay, this area. I don't even know if it's timed actually. I might be I might just be kind of uh misunderstanding things. Okay, serpent down there. Ow. Right down this area. I haven't seemed to get in there yet. Oh, this is Doom. I'm almost thinking there's something up here. Um. I don't know if there's a map overlay, but there's a really crappy uh, background map here that it's not really being very helpful right now. The map, the background is just so high contrast, it's hard to even tell what's going on here. There's this guy. Seems kind of new, somewhat. I don't know if that did anything. I'm like trying to visualize what I'm doing with this. I think I'm switching the exit here. fall down there. Okay, is this open now? No, that's that's still open. So what the hell? Okay, nope. Alright. There's in the seven portals. Okay. Oh, I got the stairs. I still haven't gotten in there, but I guess I can live with that. The stairs should take me up to that last spot. Which should open the door and hopefully get me out of this this god awful place. Cool. Uh stairs? Yeah, somewhere. Here we go. Can do these stairs. Pull the switch. A guardian of ice. No. I wanted this door to open. Oh, this door open. Okay. I'm okay with that. Lots of traps or something over here. Oh, crap. Oh, 
I just died. Got me with it while I was trying to heal. If I can heal myself up? No. Too sad. Uh, 332. I think that's right. Probably. Uh, yes. Nice. Not too far back. Oh, okay. There's supposed to be a uh, semi-transparent overlay. Maybe there's some sort of setting. I have to look at it at some point. I just wanted to see if I can get to the next area before I end off, because I'm going to have to end off soon. It start really late. Yeah, see, I got a, I got a cruelty bonus. <laughs> Not worth jumping into the jumping into the gas for. Probably shouldn't be throwing those like You guys. Ouch. This guy's hurt quite a bit. Oh, that's a cool wall. the kick is just so satisfying. <laughs> Crafting menu. Um, I wasn't able to... Well, I never actually crafted anything. I did have a couple things. Oh, I can do my armor. That'd be kind of cool. Is that permanent, though? Platinum helm. Mesh armor seems good, so let me do that. Uh, armor fragment 12... So armor fragment twelve, tether claw three, leather piece five. Crap. That's not not nice at all, bro. Okay. Can I do that? Or do I have to manually put in all that stuff? Twelve oh crap, what is it? Okay, so twelve three tattered cloth five leather piece craft. Okay. So is that an item now? Or do I just have it? Guy, right, I'm trying to craft. I just don't know where the actual item is. Is there an actual control for that? Um, RPG menu, summon familiar, gather water. No, none of, this, none of this is the thing I crafted. Did it just not appear because I was already full? Or was that, or was that literally just a little armor boost? I 
I guess I'll never know. I mean, my max armor seems to be a bit higher, but I, maybe I'm reading into things. Yeah, either gave me armor or increased my max armor or something. A lot of work just to get a little armor, though. So is this the end? I thought it would never end. We've got Segment of Wraith Verge. Okay. Cool. Having passed the seven portals which sealed this realm, a vast domain of harsh wilderness stretches before you. Fire, ice, and steel have tested you, but greater challenges remain ahead. The dense tangle of forest surely hides hostile eyes, but what lies beyond will be the wor will be worse. Barren desert, dank swamps, and musty caverns bar your way, but uh, you cannot let anything keep you from your fate, even if you might come to wish that it would. And beyond, flickering in the distance, the ever-shifting walls of the hi of the hypostyle seem to mock your entry every effort. Okay. Nice. I don't think I've actually gone this far. Pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, I don't know. I don't know when and how, but um, maybe I can uh, do some sort of brief tutorial on how to get this game to work. Um, it takes a little bit of work, and not everything's very uh, well explained, but I think you may need to buy have a retail copy of Hexen, possibly uh, the expansion to be able to do it. The tutorial I saw ha told you to download, uh, get the Hexen wad, the Hexen expansion wad, and then use a tool, a free tool to combine it into a mega wad and then put that into the folder. Again, not sure if it's needed, but that's what they told me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And this is a absolute disaster of a stream, but hopefully somebody had fun watching it. Thanks so much for sticking around. I don't have an outro because this is a brand new template, but uh, thanks so much for sticking around and I'll see you later.